As a PLC programmer, the quality of your work is really important. Let me explain why. Sometimes we program dangerous machines. Sometimes those machines can kill people. And sometimes if our program sucks and has a bunch of bugs in it, it can cause that machine to break and do all those nasty things, okay? So it stands to reason that especially if we're working on any kind of hazardous systems, we need to make sure our programs work. But what about when we're working on some non-hazardous equipment, something really simple like uh, a tank filling operation or you know something simple like that? Well, then we can drop our guard. Then we can make mistakes, right? <laughs> no. No, that's not right. Nobody's paying you for mistakes. They're paying you to be an expert, a talented, skilled professional, somebody who gets the job done, who gets the job done right, and who writes programs for systems that makes them run well, that customers love, and makes everybody happy. All right? That's what people are paying you for. Now, if you've seen me program in some of my courses, you know <laughs> this guy makes mistakes, okay? Every program I write is not perfect from the first draft. On the contrary, these programs often undergo a few iterations and corrections before I put my stamp on it and I say, ship it, it's ready to go. What I want you to do as a PLC programmer is handle your own quality control, preferably at your desk using simulations. Worst case scenario, on the system in a dry run with everything disconnected and nobody looking and nobody really understanding what they're looking at, you're going to make mistakes. Don't act like you don't make mistakes. Freely admit it when a mistake is your fault. When you make a mistake, don't lie about it. Don't try to hide it. But get really good at doing your own quality control. When you write a program, there will be mistakes. There will be errors. There will be bugs. There will be wrong tags and things coming on when they're not supposed to. This happens. It's part of life. It's, it's just a, it's a step in the process. But find it and fix it when nobody else is looking. Find your own bugs and squash them before anybody else's eyes are on your work. Okay? There will be bugs. That's a fact. But I don't want everybody else to be finding those bugs and coming back to me because every time someone else finds one of my bugs, I get smaller and smaller and smaller and lower and lower and lower value as a PLC programmer. So I want to find all my bugs and then put the program on the system, test it, make sure that I didn't miss any bugs. And then I want to say, well, okay, you guys, um, yeah, I, I threw the program together. Sorry I was in such a rush. It might have a few problems. Check it out and let me know if it's working the way you want. And then they fire it up and they test and they say, oh, yeah, everything's working great. Oh, now, come on. I'm sure there's a few bugs in there. Go on. Don't spare my feelings. You know, let, let me know what's wrong. No, it's great. Everything's working wonderfully. Oh, really? Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. Now I'm a big PLC programmer. Now I'm a good PLC programmer. Now I'm worth a lot of money as a PLC programmer because what everybody sees, what I show them, it's not a, it's not a painting that's halfway done. I show them the frickin' Mona Lisa. It's done. It's debugged. It's tested. It's shaken down. It's beautiful, baby. All right? So... It's not just a safety thing. Yes, safety's a big thing. Yes, 
Take it seriously. The system can break. It can be expensive. It can kill people and break their toys. We don't want that. But it's not just safety. It's your own name. It's your own career. It's your own salary and longevity with this company on the line. So be diligent. Find all your pro own bugs and errors and problems with your programs before everybody else does. Don't, don't lie about it. Don't hide your problems, but try to find and solve your problems before anybody else gets a chance to.